guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 620. Today, we're hanging kettlebells out to dry. Now, actually, what we're doing is we're using kettlebells for something um, other than just swings, snatches, get-ups, all that type of stuff. We're using it to build our grip. And although they could be used in different ways, because holding on that handle we know in long farmer's carries do definitely build our grip, we're going to do it in a pull-up fashion today. Now, what we have to do is, uh, is hang kettlebells. We take them from the traditional muscle-up rig, right? And we can start with smaller. What we're trying to do is we're trying to widen the grip. So we're increasing the demand that's going to be on the forearm, okay? Uh, Razak is going to come on in and he's going to help us out here today. I want you guys to realize you can start with the smallest one. There's going to be two grips of which you could take. You could take a grip in which your hand is going to come through the horns, all right? And you can kind of use your thumb, okay? Or the next harder grip is to keep your thumb together and take both your entire hand. So now you're only gripping on, okay? Razak is going to start with the small ones because the small ones are the easiest to work on. And we're just going to do one traditional pull-up. Turn around and say hi. Razak needs to work on his <laughs> grip strength after watching him do 16.3 today. That's why we made him volunteer for this. <laughs> Come on up here. Okay, so he's going to take the first grip. That's the one that, where he uses his thumb on the outside of the horn. He's just going to come into a dead hang pull-up, okay? And what you're going to see is just a regular pull-up. There's nothing at all special about it. But the thing that's special is using the idea of using kettlebells hanging from their horns, right? Cool? Um, as you guys move up, so um, do, the, do the thumb, thumbs on the inside. They don't have to go all the way through, exactly. Just, uh, yeah, just don't use them. So the second way, the next transition up is to put a, a little pterodactyl hand, right? Um, as you get better and you can do sets like this, we move up to a fatter, right, heavier kettlebell because it doesn't give us uh, as much as a, of, a, of a convexity, that's what I was looking for, I thought I almost said concavity, <laughs> convexity to hold on to. It's a much more shallower, you really got to reach up and over, okay, so we go on from there. So we start with the hands on the outside of the horns, you'll notice that that will be easier. It's just a big wide grip, right? And then we go ahead, come down, show me one with hands on the inside. Awesome. Now Razak is gonna do this every single day, hopefully in another month or so, do 16.3 over again, and he will be uh, unbroken on all those snatches. Thank you, Razak, I really do appreciate it. But guys, just to recap, what we're doing today, hanging kettlebells up on top of a pull-up bar, we're using them to build grip strength because we can no longer encompass the entire bar, bar. We, uh, we are now having to use our hands in an open fashion, increases demand onto the wrist and forearm. We're gonna go ahead and do two grips, right? Either a grip with the thumbs out, in which we can go ahead and pull, or we do with the grip with the thumb in, which gives us or makes us lose even more power because we no longer have the dexterity of our thumb to hold on, in which we pull, okay? We start with little balls, we move to the big balls because uh, the, the, the amount of energy that we need, the, the, the demand on the, the grip increases with the flattening on the convexity, okay? And you can even move up to a bigger ball, cool? Guys, kettlebells for grip strength. Hope this helps you out. And until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance. <laughs>